I want to discuss how you can compute value at risk using Microsoft Excel. Now, I have a tutorial on value at risk, and I will post the link below, but let me just use um, the intro to that discussion here. So value at risk, or VAR, is a risk management approach that attempts to quantify potential losses. Now, the problem with using something like standard deviation is that when we measure volatility, it treats gains the same as losses. And we know that gains are a good thing. We really care just about the losses. So what VAR looks at is the risk of losing money. These are the components of VAR, time period, confidence level, and loss amount. And what VAR answers is, what's the most I can, say with a 95% level of confidence, expect to lose in dollar terms over the next month? Or what's the lowest return I can expect with a 95% confidence level over the next month? So over here, you can see I have some data. In fact, let me just expand this since we done that intro. Um, I have some portfolio returns here for a one-year period. Now, you could use a lot more data and you'd actually get a much better result if you had more data, but just to illustrate this, let's use just one year's worth of data. It makes it much easier to see on the spreadsheet. So, what we can do is we can calculate things like the expected return. I'm just going to calculate the average return here. So I'm just going to calculate the average of these returns. And this is just going to be a monthly average. And we see it's 1.09%. Now what's the lowest value we have here? Eh, you know, it's a small amount of data. We could just look at it and probably eyeball it. But if you had a much larger data set, you can use this MIN function, which will search out and find the minimum value. So it turns out it's minus 3.31%. So it's May right here that has the uh, lowest value. What we're interested in, for example, is with 95% certainty or confidence, what's the lowest return I expect to get in a month? And we can do that by using a percentile function that Excel has. So we can type in PER, and we want to use the, I'm going to use the one that's percentile.inc, and that means it just includes all the values. So I'm going to highlight these values here, and put a comma in, and then I'm going to put in the confidence level we want. And so I'm going to put in 0 0.04. Five, so five percent. So I'm looking at the fifth percentile. That means that 95 percent of the values will lie above this. Only five percent will lie below this. So here we see it's minus 3.09 percent. Now you notice that there's no three point minus 3.09 percent here. It's just telling us with 95 percent certainty we expect. Um, not to be below minus 3.09%. If we wanted to make this a 99% confidence level, we could make this 0 0.01. So the first percentile, which means 99% lie above this, and here we have minus 3.27%. So this gives us an idea of how much is at risk. Okay. And again, we could do this with dollar values so we know what's the most we think we'll lose you know, in the worst case scenario with 95% confidence level in a month or a year or some other time period. So it's very easy to calculate in, in Excel. Use that percentile function, right? It just figures out which percentile is the fifth percentile. So everything in that case 95% lie above that. So 
This is an easy way to calculate VAR. Um, doesn't require a lot of data and can be easily done in Excel.